Hey guys and welcome, welcome to another segment of Browser World. Today what we're going to be doing is a quick caricature drawing of The Rock. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the interface features. So I'm going to start with the eyebrows because the eyebrows are one or the focal point of my drawing. He has a very... A famous expression he always makes you know when he says can you smell what the rock is cooking yes and then he puts his eyebrows up the people's eyebrows so we want to make sure that we get the people's eyebrow in there you know for the people ah. okay so we're gonna just kind of work our way down the face I have a method basically where it's called it's kind of like a connect the dots method so as I'm drawing something that before I place my next feature I have to consider how far away from it or I need it to be or how big or how small I need that feature to be and then obviously what line I need to use so meaning that do I need a do I need to use a dominant line here which is something where I use a really thick line or something where I need to use a thin line uh, where it's hardly ever not even noticeable I think I said that right the next shape is going to be our our jaw line and chin line and this is the part where I'm going to kind of extend out beyond the head shape so as I'm drawing this chin and you can see it's very hard to eyeball that and get it right if you use the outside in technique so that's why I use this particular technique for this drawing so whichever one you feel however the drawing comes to you that's how you're supposed to draw it so don't get caught up in a system because systems don't work in caricature because you're going to each face is going to present a different task or a different challenge for you. So keep that in mind as you go further into this uh, art called caricature. Now I'm just drawing my next shape here. Once again, just kind of skipping around. And now we're going to draw our head shape or put the top on our shape. Now you notice also that the rock has a very specific shape head, which means that I can't just draw a round globe up here and it looks like the rock. You have to draw it specifically like it is. So I'm looking at my photo reference and I'm saying, okay, the point of the head lines up with the, the bridge of the nose. So that's how I knew where to break my line at and start going south instead of going straight around like a curve because then I would have missed the mark there. The next shape that we're going to put down is our eye shape. If you haven't watched the video I have on how to draw eyes, you should go back and watch that. I don't when I do these videos like where I do the live recording I don't, I don't need to I don't explain every particular thing that I'm drawing and how to draw it because then this video would be really long and you would be like oh my goodness I wish he would stop talking so go back and watch that video and it'll explain to you what shape I'm thinking of when I draw I use one shape to draw everyone's eye I just manipulate the same shape over and over again Once again, with the eyes, you want to approach it however it comes to you. In other words, don't you can use the same shape, but for instance, you don't have to start at the pupil first, or you don't have to start with the top of the eye first. It's kind of how the eye comes to you. 
So which line of the eye do you want to put first? For right now, you can just kind of use me as a as training wheels, if you will, and just follow what I do. 90% of learning, I believe, is, or maybe even more than that, is visual. <laughs> That's funny that I said that, because the other day, I was um, talking with my wife, and she was telling me how my daughter watches everything I do, and then she copies me. So she'll eat with the fork in the same hand. She'll make gestures with, with her face that I make sometimes just because she sees her dad do it, you know. So that's also a life lesson. Watch what you do around the youngins because they learn visually, not so much by what you tell them all the time. Oh man, so I really, really, really like the way that this is coming out. And now I'm doing the shadows. So, with the shadows, what I do is I switch to a gray. Crayola marker. Now, there are parts of the face that, in general, do not get as much light as other parts of the face. Okay? For instance, uh, underneath the eyebrows, underneath the nose, because obviously, if everything, if something has sides on it, logically, the bottom side of it would not get light. So therefore, I can add a shadow there, and what that results in is a realistic looking picture. So as I keep putting these gray strokes in my picture, watch what happens magically. It starts to look a little bit like a 3D cartoon. Weird, but effective. <laughs> I also use shadows to um, or I use, also use this gray marker to make lines that if I use a black marker to make the line it will look too bold one of the biggest mistakes I see caricaturists make is using too many lines in the drawing thinking that if you add more lines you can get the likeness and it actually does not work that way what that's called is messing up even more yes messing up even more so this marker here is just a fine tuning marker basically at the end because I'm using a Crayola Crayola doesn't have as dark a pigment as a Sharpie does so that's why I use that marker right there and finally, we're going to use our big black bold marker, and that's just to color in the jacket. You want to keep one of these handy. I always do in case I have to do something that I have to do a quick coloring job to cover a lot of area real fast. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm pretty much pleased with the picture. So I want to take this time to thank you for watching our video and tutorial will be posting more videos and tutorials soon if you'd like to have your favorite celebrity drawn and featured on our show you can simply make a request in the uh, in the comment section of the video we will put you on a request list and then as we get to your request um, we'll make a video and teach you how to draw that person it's pretty straightforward process. So I enjoy spending time with you today, my friends. You have a blessed, blessed, blessed and wonderful evening. And uh, I hope that your rock came out pretty cool. I'm going to go in here and see what's cooking. I smell something in the kitchen. My wife is cooking something. Kind of hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time.
Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always guys, I wish you happy cartooning.